Hey, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I just wanted to show you a code project which is a project pertaining to using inline assembly in C or C++. Um, this, I've just confirmed that this can be actually used with uh, Visual uh, Studio C++ compiler as well. Um, so this can be used either in GCC or uh, the Visual Studio compiler. So basically what is this? Inline, um, I, got, I, I learned this from my friend in London, the Quant. Uh, he's, a, as usual, a genius on this. But um, everyone seems to think that C or C++ is the fastest language out there. Yes, it is. But you can take it one step further by using inline assembly. And what is inline? Uh, if you have a function where you uh, have uh, basically uh, even an inline uh, C++ function, it just enables and optimizes the uh, compiler and it will optimize the code during runtime to even make the fa code a lot faster. So if you have a one or two line uh, function in C, you can use inline to speed up the compiler quite a bit or your performance during runtime because the compiler will optimize it. But uh, it even gets even fancier now that you can, or I'm sure this always existed, now you can in do inline assembly itself. So you can use examples like um, uh, you know, registering uh, and moving data within your registries, um, which makes your code very, very, very fast. Uh, you could also use this to calculate simple uh, algorithms uh, right within assembly from your C++ or C calls. Uh, obviously, this can be really optimized in using um, in embedded uh, compilers. Uh, namely like a, uh, FPGA, so this is the, the absolute fastest way of doing it. Um, probably the lowest latency possible too. Um, so there's a lot of tricks here uh, that you can uh, learn from these links. Here's uh, something else I'm learning about spin locks uh, for multi-threaded. It's very similar to a mutex type of threading. But the spin lock is actually faster and has uh, less before has a per, less of a performance hit than uh, using something like a mutex. Uh, so as far as I know, from what I've been told, um, spin locking in C or C++ may uh, be actually de uh, deficient, but doing it in .NET may be efficient. Now I'm going to put, put all these postings up on the quantlabs.net blog site. Um, and I'll put the links on there, but uh, I thought I'd put these together just to show you another code trick um, for anybody wanting to do real-time analysis or uh, a real low-level, low-latency type of uh, training platform. This is one of the tricks that a lot of the quants use, supposedly. Um, so there you go, another trick to be learned.